What's up, guys? Let's talk about um kind of weird subject today. I'm on my last little leg of this walk with my friend Eric. <laughs> Never mind. That was yesterday's joke. All right. So, uh, we're talking about gut, gut health, and especially the the weird subject of poop. So, poop health is su super important. You know, you have to look at a steady uh, and healthy metabolism comes with the result of a steady and healthy poop or you know digestive output so if you're not going regularly you know I would kind of increase look at your gut like one issue could be that you're dehydrated your intestines carry a, a large amount of mucus and if you're you are dehydrated then your mucus will be dehydrated and you're not going to pass the uh, fecal matter through your colon effectively. So that's one way to look at it. Another two, another reason why you could be constipated is that your fiber intake could be low. So, you know, you want to increase your, your fiber intake, your fiber load. So there are certain things that are in the human body that actually, in fact, actually that on a human cell level that we cannot digest. So the more things that we eat are, that are fiber-based that will help us pass our, our poop a little bit better. So, you know, you want to think about fibrous green, uh, things like that, maybe sweet potatoes, hot fiber. Sweet potatoes are probably the best vegetable out there for, for everything that we need to do. If you're not eating at least two sweet potatoes a day, I would recommend you do so. So within that, there's another little small little weird thing that people mostly don't talk about which is your gut microbiota so the gut microbe and it's gut, gut health of that is super important there's lots of different ways that we can increase our gut microbe make sure that we're carrying the all the healthy microbiota that we need to digest the foods that our normal cells don't don't digest that actually help with like stop, stopping inflammation in our enteric nervous system, which is our gut. Um, just to let you know, the enteric nervous system has more nerve in endings and more nerve channels than the brain. So a lot of people wonder, is it the, actually the gut that controls the brain or is it the brain that controls the gut? So, you know, it's a kind of a question to kind of think about later later on you might want to look into that so um get control making your enteric ner nervous system your gut kind of healthy is super important so your gut microbiota is super important so what they say is eating a diverse diet and uh vegetables and fruit and roots especially in some things especially like fermented foods are super important polyphenols like blueberries, red, uh, red grapes, grape skins, red wine, those types of things that carry polyphenols. Um, also within that model, uh, there are some things that you can eat that are super important for your gut health, which is uh, like kombucha, that's some of those fermented things, kimchi, whole grains are one of those another high fiber based type scenarios of quinoa sweet potatoes uh brown rice all those things that don't taste particularly well but are super important for your gut health so i would say if you have a arrow to bowel type inflammatory response in, in your gut that you really need to try to take some probiotics and get some probiotic health if you are sick it will help it bring it make it a little bit better the only way to truly grow gut health and the proper microbiomes, microbiota that you need is to actually eat clean. So meats, vegetables, seeds, nuts, and fruit are always going to be the cure to all things, especially within your gut health. So if you're constipated or if you have, even in some people are irritable bowel, eating a, a good, healthy rotation of meats, vegetables, seasons, and fruit 
only can lead to your gut healing itself. So that's super important. Like that concept of like uh, being able to break down all the foods that you eat. So what if you're not breaking down the foods that you eat? What will happen? Like you're going to be nutrient deficient. So that's the problem. And that's what I see a lot through the, the clinic and the gym. Most diseases are in relation to uh, the problems we have in our Western culture diet. High sugar, high fats. So how do you beat that? You eat a diet consistent of meats, vegetables, seeds, nuts, and fruit. You grow good, solid gut bacteria, take some probiotics. There are some, you know, some small little facts on like yogurt. Yogurt's really important for gut health, but I would recommend you only get like true culture yogurt, not sugar-based add additive yogurt. If you want to add something to it, I would recommend maybe some blueberries. Uh, if you can find that type of real yogurt. Most yogurt you're gonna find in Walmart. She's one I'm not a big fan of it. It's all gonna be really loaded in sugar. So that kind of stuff is, uh, is important to get rid of. So um, let's get uh, focused on your gut health. Uh, you should be flowing pretty well. If you don't, uh, go see your lo local doctor. You know, they can put you on some medicines that can help you with your gut health. Uh, but typically, water, rest, nutrition, probiotics will get you on a good level. So let's think about that today. Uh, gut health was the main subject matter here. So if you guys have any questions, just DM me or comment below. We'll talk to you tomorrow. Thanks. Have a good day.